Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Good teacher. Hello, hello. Fine. Excellent. You? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Welcome to the class. And hello, Tony. Today you're driving, huh? Yes, but I'm finished. I'm, I'm uh, arrived to my home right now. Oh, that's great. Excellent. Very good. Okay, I can see Celia. Hello, Celia. How are you? Hello, how are you? Good evening. I'm great. How about you? Great, too. Excellent. Very good. Welcome to the class. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for being on time. We are in the middle of the week. So um, let me ask you, did you work on the platform? Yes. Only one says yes. Aha. Uh -huh. And the rest of you? Did you work yes, on the platform? Yes. Excellent. Yes. Very good. Very good. I could see actually um, some of you already finished the week number two. So that's great. Just a reminder, everybody. Remember that this week we have the first exam. Okay, so I recommend you always please work on the platform and complete the exam. Okay, remember that on Fridays, <clears throat> I always upgrade your scores. Okay, when, so, yes, Edwin? Uh, when are the exams? Is Sorry. this... Okay, the, the exam is already uh, available on the platform, okay? Oh, okay? Yes, so you can do it the day that you prefer, okay? Okay. Exactly. Okay. So my recommendation is I'm going to share with you the platform so you can see it. We are in the week number two, right? So section two. So my recommendation is work in the unit number two so you can check the exercises when you finished the unit number two, go ahead and complete the exam. So because if you finish the exercises, you will be more familiar with the topics, with the practice, so it will be easier for you to complete the exam, okay? Okay. So you can do it the day that you prefer. So just remember, Fridays after the class, I check your scores and I send them. Okay, so try to do it during this week, everyone. Take your time, okay, and try to get a very good score, okay? In, I could see, uh-huh. In the section one, have exam no oh, okay. no no worries <laughs> remember <Okay>. <laughs> no worries remember <clears throat> during this level we are going to have <clears throat> sorry only two exams the first exam is in the week number two and the second exam will be in the week number four okay so okay. only two exams. So next week, that is the week number three, we are not going to have exam, okay? So don't worry. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So please everybody work on the platform, okay? I could see some of you already finished the unit number one, finished the unit number two, and some of you already finished the exam and with a very good score. So very good job. But some of you haven't even started the unit number two. So mm -mm, not possible. Please work on the platform. It's not optional. It's an obligation. And also, please be careful with the attendance. Okay, some of you have a very good score in attendance. But some of you, be honest, um, Van un poquito bajos algunos de ustedes. 
right? And this is because um, you don't connect uh, every day or maybe you don't connect the full time, okay? Remember the full time means the two hours, okay? I'm going to share the percentage, how everybody's going. So if you are with 30% or upper than 30% is good, all right? Porque a este punto, si van arriba de 30, es porque la asistencia no va tan mal. Pero abajo de 30, I mean, it's very worrying. Okay, so be careful, okay? with the attendance. Así que, <clears throat> please, ya no falten y traten de conectarse pues las dos horas, los 120 minutos. So, si solo se conectan 50 minutes, you are not going to get the full percentage for that, okay? So, it's very, very important, the attendance. Again, remember, attendance is like, an obligation to, if you want to continue with the program, okay? Anybody, do you have a question about the attendance or about the platform? I can see my name. You couldn't. Uh, I can see my name, what is my person? Uh, here we Luis. go. Yes, actually your attendance is pretty good. Look, this is yours. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty good. And remember, if you get less than 30%, that means that you need to improve it, please. Okay, any question? Attendance or about the platform? Okay, very good. We're going to start today's um, topic, but first let me ask you, what was the topic that we studied yesterday? How to use arbors or frequently? Good job. Excellent. Can you give me examples, everyone, of frequency adverbs, please? Usually, mm -hmm. always, mm -hmm. sometimes, often, never. Mm -hmm. Never. <laughs> That's great, that's great. Okay, yesterday we practiced uh, some of the questions in the speaking part. So we are going to review that a little bit. So today is February 8th. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Yes. Okay, so as you said, that was the topic, frequency advert, and we practice some of these questions. So I'm going to interview some of you right now. I want to see if you practice or if you remembered a little bit, okay? Let me start with hmm, Jorge Antonio. Hello, Jorge. Hi, teacher. Yeah, so, Jorge, tell me, what do you usually do in your free time? Um, well, I my free time is only on weekends. Um, for example, on Sunday, I usually no, I always. Uh, wrong in the morning uh, because I like it. and usually in the afternoon I um, rarely I play basketball and sometimes I play football in the TV okay all right, sounds good. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Jorge. Now okay. let's see, let me ask to ta, 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 Celia. Hello, Celia. Hello, good evening. Celia, yeah. tell me, um, where do you 
uh, sometimes go with your friends? Sometimes go to beach or, or go to discoteca. Discoteca? Mm -hmm. um, sometimes go to bar. Mm, okay, so do you like do you like to dance? Yes, I like ah, dance. Ah, <laughs> all right, interesting. Very good. Thank you, Celia. Okay, let's see. Karen, Karen Rocio. Hello. Hello. So Karen, what do you always do in the afternoons? I always sleep in my bed. I watch uh, movies. Uh -huh. Anything else? I go to the park in family. All right, very good. Thank you, Karen. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Carla Sofia. Hello, Carla. Uh, hello. <clears throat> so, Carla, how often do you work out? Uh, I work out three, three times per week. <laughs> three times a week? Uh-huh, a week. Ah, very good. So, do you go to the gym? No. In my house. <laughs> All right. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Let's see. Tony. Hello, Tony. Hello, teacher. So tell me, what do you never do at night? Never do at night. Mm -hmm. Um. I never do exercise at night in my bed. <laughs> okay. Uh, I never um, sleep alone because mm -hmm. I sleep with my wife. Okay. I never. Um, I never never another another thing that I don't do. Um. Uh, no, it's too personal. I uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, um, I never use pink pajamas. Mm, okay, sounds good. Flip. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you, Tani. Let's see. Um, Juan Jose. Hello, Juan. Hello, teacher. Okay, tell me, do you always go to bed before midnight? Yes, I do. I always go to bed before midnight. Okay, excellent answer. And the last question is for Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Hi, Miss. Tell me, Carlos, what do you always do on weekends? Mm. Repeat this, please. What do you always do on weekends? For example, on Sunday or on Saturdays, what do you always do? Uh -huh. For example, I always watch a movie or I always wake up late. I always take a nap in the afternoon. So what do you always do on weekends? Hello?
Carlos, are you there? Okay, I'm going to ask someone to help him. I need a volunteer. Who wants to answer that question? Me. Thank you, Atilio. Go ahead. I always play soccer on weekend. That, okay, very good. What else? Uh, I always sleep and uh, sorry, means. Mm -hmm. Yes, Carlos. Uh, sorry, uh, I uh, uh, I'm work. Uh, solo oyente, por favor. Ah, okay. No worries. It's okay, Carlos. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. Tilio. What else? Anything else? I, uh, I always sleep on Saturday afternoon. Ah, all right. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Tilio. Excellent job, everybody. Just remember, remember the position of the adverbs. Remember that every adverb has different meanings. So the idea and the purpose of practicing these questions is that I wanted you, I want you to talk. Okay. I want you to give details. Okay. Now be careful just with some little aspects. Um, every time that you are talking about a platform or a, like a TV, for example, we always say on. For example, uh, I watch on TV or I listen, well, no, I, I watch it on the computer, for example, or on the radio or on YouTube. Okay, we always use on. And what is the difference in the pronunciation of these verbs? What is the pronunciation of this one? Uh huh. What? What is the pronunciation? Watch. Watch, exactly, watch. So we got a letter T. So we need to pronounce it. What is the pronunciation of this one? Wash. 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 Okay, so that is the difference. Here is wash. But this one is ch. Watch. Watch. So if I want to say yo veo televisión, what is the correct one? Mm -hmm. How can I say I that? I watch TV. Ah, I watch TV or I watch TV. Content. <laughs> <laughs> With the letter what? T. Exactly. Watch. Watch. Yes. How can I say yo lavo mi carro, for example? I wash my car. That's great. So be careful with the pronunciation of these verbs because sometimes I listen to some people and they say, ah, I wash TV. Can I say that? I wash TV? Mm -hmm. All right, because I mean, we, <laughs> exactly, we cannot do that. So just be careful with the pronunciation. We need to say, I watch. So I watch TV. Okay, it's very good. Okay, please practice speaking, practice these questions, everyone. It will be very useful for you. Now we are going to combine the frequency adverbs and we can we will combine it with this topic, marketing strategies, okay? We're going to talk about this and I have a question for you. Imagine, think about a restaurant, okay? Think about a restaurant here in our country. What is a very important strategy that the restaurants could implement or could apply if they want to get more clients. What do you think? Can you give me ideas? Of 
for example, imagine if San Martin restaurant, imagine that they want more clients. What could they do? What activities or what strategies could they do in order to get more customers? They share many pictures about his melt and they... This menu. Menu. Oh, like share more pictures about the menu? Melt. Okay. Melt. Okay. On the internet? Uh, yes, yeah, and so, social media network. On social media, that's a great strategy. Very good. Yeah, they prepare, come on, how do you say, combos? Combos doesn't change. Uh, they prepare so many combos to, to come on, barato, no me acuerdo. Cheap? <laughs> cheap, cheap. Cheap okay. Mini. Ah, well, okay. That's not true, but <laughs> it's an idea. <laughs> okay, very good. Think about another restaurants here in our country. So, what strategies can, uh, could they use to get more clients? What Teacher. Uh huh. In my opinion, when I select a restaurant, I prefer uh, with view because I love to take pictures. And for me, it's very important the location and the view. Very good point. So imagine a restaurant with a very nice view, for example, Cafe Santa Cruz. Have you ever visited that restaurant? Yes, I think that is, yes. is the best the best way to to catch uh, clients. That's a good point. Probably so. the place in when you come the place is is not good, but in the future, <laughs> you see. Yeah, at least the view it's nice. If the food is delicious or not, well, that's another point. But yeah, that's a very good strategy. But imagine if we don't have a nice view. For example, if the restaurant is in the middle of the city, maybe we cannot have like a nice view, right? So what else could we do to get more clients? The second, the second non-order half house price. Ah, okay. That's a good one. Okay. ¿Cómo se dice dos por uno? Uh, two for one. Two for one, yeah. Okay. So you pay like, two and you get the other by the half of the price. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, Pampa. <laughs> okay. All right. Sounds interesting. Very good strategies, the ones that you are telling me. Now, can you mention uh, some restaurants here in the country that are like more successful? Which restaurants do you think that are very successful here in El Salvador? Successful so about sales or? Well, about customers that you can see a restaurant with always a lot of customers. What do you think? The fast food. Fast food, for example? McDonald's, Wendy's. Mm -hmm. Pollo Campero. <laughs> That's Pollo Campero. true. So, why do you think that they have a lot of successful? Why? Probably the price on the team. Okay, the price because probably. probably. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they are like cheaper than other right? What else? What could be another reason why these restaurants are very successful? They pay publicity. Sorry? They pay uh, public, publicity. Oh, mm -hmm. that's a good, and that is very true. Imagine if you open Facebook immediately, you can have a lot of pop-up messages about this type of restaurants. I don't know you, but I have never seen 
La Pampa on Facebook. I have never seen San Martin on Facebook, but Pizza Hut, Pollo Campero, China Walk, wow, they have a lot of advertisements. So that is what we are going to discuss in this moment. We are going to read. So if you have your manual, everybody, we are going to be in the page 21, okay? So let's go to the manual on page 21. And I will need two volunteers for reading. So who wants me, to read? Me, teacher. Luis and Celia, thank you. Okay, Luis, you will be Mr. Mott. Celia, you will be Jennifer. Okay, so go ahead. Hello, Jennifer, how is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That's so good. Look, I'm thinking about the new marketing strategy and and I want to know some something. Tell me, sir. How often do you sh change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir, we never do. Okay, thank you. Think about these restaurants. So how often do they change the menu? Seldom. Seldom, right? So the menu is basically the same all the time. What do you think? Is that something good? Or is something negative that a restaurant yeah. never changed the menu? Depend, like uh, Tony Roma's, uh, also an American food, like uh, Dennis, they mm -hmm. always they have the same menu for the rest of the year, probably in, in, in como se dice estas eh, épocas, no sé. Seasons? Ah, okay, in different seasons, probably they add any menu additional but always at the same team very good so that's a good strategy too to have like special meals in different seasons very good so look at the next question do they ever give a promotional item they say no they never. And what do you think about the restaurants? Do you think that that is a very good strategy to give promotions, promotional items? If you have high quality in your your food, probably do you don't need that. Okay, it's not like totally necessary, right? If you if you have high quality. Mm hmm. But imagine if you want to get more clients, maybe you should or you could give, right? Promotional items, very good. Like a dessert. Yeah. Exactly, like desserts, different options, or imagine, as your classmate said before, you could give different combos, right? Good. Now, let's talk about successful promotion how can we get successful promotion i need a volunteer for reading the first paragraph please me teacher thank you go ahead a successful marketing campaign attracts the attention of potential customer to your products and service your prospects are more likely to become your customer if you often unique and competitive prices product and services. Thank you. Okay, let's just stop there and analyze this paragraph. If I want to attract the attention of the customers, we need to analyze who will be my customers and what kind of products I need to offer. But what happens if I am newcomer? What do you think? What is the meaning of newcomer? new business exactly a translation will be what do you think Novito. yes like novatos right 
So volunteers for continue reading. If you are a newcomer in your market, it will be so to attract and rating new customers. You will have to work much harder to promote your business than your more established competitors. 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 Therefore, it's a good idea to implement a variety of promotional activities to meet your marketing needs. Thank you. Now, look at this vocabulary, the word tough. Have you ever seen this word? Tough. What is the meaning of this what word? Tough. It will be suficient. I'm sorry? Como suficiente? No. Mm, not really. It says it will be tough to attract. Mm, imagine if I say, everybody, if you don't study for the exam, it will be tough that you it's get easy. 10. Exactly. So tough could be like difficult. It's a synonym. Okay. So it will be difficult to attract and retain new customers. Okay, so what do we need to do if we want to get a successful promotion, marketing campaign? We need to have a competitive priced, very good products and services and promotional activities. But what kind of activities? It will depend on the products. Let's do a practice. Imagine I have a business, okay? So my business is that I sell all natural drinks, okay? Look at the picture. That's my business. I sell all natural drinks. Everything is totally natural, but I need more clients, okay? So what is the first things that I need to do? I need to identify my target audience. What is the meaning of that? What is target audience? Who people I want to catch. Good job. So can you give me ideas? Who could be my customers, my potential customers? Is a good idea that my customer could be kids? What no. do you think? Maybe, but it's difficult. I think that healthy people like um, sportsmen, sportswomen. Mm. Um, okay. In this case, kids, well, they don't even like <laughs> natural drinks, right? So, mm -mm. so office workers. Ah, so basically, I need people, adults or young adult people, the ones who uh, who likes to do exercise, the one who works in an office. Good, that could be my target audience. How about old people? The same mm -hmm. people who eat healthy. That's true. So imagine if I put this restaurant in front of a gym, <laughs> that could be a good That's idea, possible. right? Mm, good idea. <clears throat> Next to a hospital, maybe. <laughs> could mm. be. I remember many seasons when the restaurant they publish publish uh, after office for everywhere ah all right yeah for young people ah okay that's a good idea all right good so i already identify my target audience so i need help everyone please tell me what would be the most effective method so i can get more customers what do i need to do can you mention some strategies that i, I need pay, to use a, i pay google ads um for facebook algorithm, ah. algorithm no, i don't remember algorithm como? yes algorithm algorithm um, for cash people when they think of, <laughs> they <laughs> search something about how um, uh, about drinks, naturals, about drinks, immediately they will get a lot of pop up messages. Burgers, about something like that. They find my restaurant. <laughs> first, 
for Very absorption. Very good idea. Very good idea. Now, what else? We got one. So we got advertisements on Facebook. Very good. What else? Another strategy that I can use? Mm, I think that um, use flyers to to send in uh, in newspapers or in offices or uh, and in and in signal stops or to the office uh, in every um, checkpoint or or the um, mezzanine. Uh, the receptions of the of the office is okay. a good idea. Good idea to, to have a um, how do you say um, pedestal para poner? I, I don't know uh, uh, the stands with the flyers in different uh, positions. Hmm, okay, very good, very good idea. So you are giving me strategies about advertisements, about publicity. That's great. Now, imagine when the customers arrived to my restaurants, I want them to continue arriving, right? So if they visit me on Monday, I would like that they continue going Tuesday, Wednesday, and every single day. So how can I get that? How could I convince them to go back? Another meet another strategies? What do I need to have in my restaurant? Promotions. Promotions. There are different juice for day. Okay, that's a good idea. We can have the beverage day, the specific beverage for Monday to a very cheap price, right? That could be a okay. good one. Promotion for your credit card for, money, okay. for different banks. Ah, so in imagine different, in different days. Yeah. Okay, so if you use your credit card or if you use your debit card from Banco Agricola, for example, you can get five percent of discount. That could be a how good do one. you how do you say tarjeta de cliente frecuente? Uh, frequent customer card. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. I can give them. That's a good idea. Should I have music on my restaurant? What do you think? Yes, live music on Friday. Okay. <laughs> okay. What else? Super, super Friday healthily available all Mondays. Okay, all right. <laughs> you are full of ideas, everyone. I like that. So Anybody if you see, can. <laughs> you can do it, very good. So easy, if you see everyone, you immediately identify the target audience and you already mentioned a lot of strategies that I can use to have a very successful restaurant. Very good job. Now that is exactly that I want you to do, but we are going to work in teams. Okay. We are going to work in groups. What I want you to do is I want you to choose a product or a restaurant. So for example, you can pick a product that already exists. So I don't know, for example, imagine if you want to talk about, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, quesos, uh, la con no, I, don't, I don't, quesos petacones, for example, that is an example of a product. Or uh, I want to talk about the product, uh, pan bimbo. I don't know, choose a product. Or you can pick a restaurant. So for example, imagine restaurants, uh, it can be a fast food restaurant or it can be uh, a little more luxury restaurant. Now in products, you can choose a product not only about food, you can be, or you can choose a product like electronic product too, okay? Choose a product or a restaurant. 
Then I want you to tell me three strategies that you can implement to get more customers. And then you are going to explain the strategies and share the information with the class. Important, when you explain the strategies, I want to know who is going to be your uh, target market, okay? So who is your target market? If it is young people or students or people who works in a specific type of office, I don't know. So you had to give me the details. You will be in groups and you will do this activity and one member of the group is going to present this information, but I can ask one by one. Understood the activity? Everyone? ¿Se entiende qué es lo que van a hacer? Yes, teacher. Yes? yes. Now, important. At the end, we are going to vote for the best presentation. Okay? So, we are going to have groups and at the end of the presentations, everybody is going to vote and is going to decide which one was the best presentation. Okay, so you have to win everyone. You have to share who gets the best ideas. So please, everybody try to participate. Everybody try to give your ideas. Okay, and um, I know that today we got like a lot of listeners actually. Um, so if you are in a group that nobody's talking, please let me know so I can switch you to a different group. The idea is that in each group could be at least three people. So three people participating. And um, if you are alone or nobody's talking, let me know. We will be in the groups and please nobody talks in Spanish, okay? Well, we got 10 minutes for this activity, everyone. So think fast, let's go to work. Hello. Hello, Carlita. No. Uh, no. I hear a slow. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Uh, any anybody idea for the product? Any idea? <laughs> Uh, let me see. <laughs> oh. um. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Remember, it can be a rest. I mean, can be a restaurant or a product. If you cannot imagine a product, pick a restaurant. Pick a restaurant that you visit frequently. So it will be easier for you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, how do you say propongo? I propose. I propose. Pro I propose Cadejo restaurant. <laughs> Rogue or, or restaurant? A uh, restaurant. Rogue or restaurant. Okay, Edwin says Cadejos restaurants. Atilio and Carla, do you have another idea? No, I think it's good. <laughs> okay, Atilio, do you agree? Cadejos restaurant? Uh, yes, Cadejos restaurant. Okay, you can good. work with that. Good. Good. Now, <laughs> okay, Cadejos restaurant. First, identify who is going to be your customer? Kids, teenagers, adults, women, 
man, family, I don't know, who? Mm, adults, <laughs> men and women. Women. Stress. Eh, estresado es is stress. Stressed. Stressed persons. <laughs> <laughs> Stressed people. Remember that ah, people, people is in plural. Ah, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Stress people sounds good. <laughs> okay. Now choose the strategies. How these restaurants can so get more day customers. Which I different many okay. So write it down the ideas. Every day, okay. Every day. Yeah, every day. Which I different men uh, uh, cheaper with fruit for this. I don't understand because I hear slow. <laughs> Maybe it's the connection, Atilio, because sometimes you you are like breaking up. So Atilio said like different menus every day. So like every day you will have like special menu. In pro in in discount. <laughs> Let's see. With a discount. Mm -hmm. mm. And use the hours determine determines hours. Okay, Atilio. Thank you. <clears throat> Can you repeat, uh, Carla? <clears throat> um, uh, solo... The target market for this product. I don't know, um, for example, all young boys or the families. Uh -huh. Did you call me anyone? We, we, we have a mate, we have a, we have a mention. Uh -huh. What is uh, our target target market? Oh, is you have to uh, identify who is going to be your potential customers? Okay, mm -hmm. if you if you show your uh, credential, you for your your university, you have fifty percent of. Pay five and go six. <laughs> yes, it's a good, good idea. And your and your potatoes are free. They don't have potatoes. Ah, okay. Oh, only only the only chori. Only chori. Yeah. Only chori. Chori, chori and Coca Cola. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, pay two hot dogs and get one free soda. Okay. Pay two and get one free soda. Free soda. Yes. Show you university university credential credentials. I don't remember how you say that. ID ID or or a student credential because yeah. and I I don't know yeah a uh, 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 little boy that uh, they don't have no more no many. fifteen years old. Uh, UID University. The last one is. So if white. I am if I, I if I am from high school, I cannot get the promotion. Yes, one free beer. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a joke. No, no. 
So only if I am from university. Yes, if I if I better. work I be a student. If I right. work in a call center, the promotion well, yes. I cannot apply it. Yes. Okay, okay. In these in these works they uh, buy so many many chores for the time. <laughs> for so the if, time. if I if they... I work I, I have money to pay. <laughs> Yes, okay. you have money to share. You have probably two jobs. <laughs> Could be. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. More or less, present your ID students and say, say, say what? 64 cents of. Uh -huh. How is everything going here? Do you finish? No yet. Okay, are you going to talk about a product or a better restaurant? Product. A product. What is a product? It's a the new computer. Yes. Oh, all right. Interesting. Who's going to be your target market? Employees, yes. executives, companies. Okay, all right. Are these computers cheap or a little expensive? It's a little expensive. Okay, okay. So it's only for people with <laughs> a very good income. Yes. Mm. Sorry, my microphone is off. Um, my my microphone was off. Um, yes. The 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 computer is uh, knows the they don't are ex, uh, cheaper. Is for a higher level and for the specification is the better computers to work or to. Uh, do task of, of of the office, and then um, our target is, is is focused in employees, high executives, and age is from eighteen to forty five mm. years. Okay, okay, so it's a very good computer, huh? Mm -hmm. Exactly. I liked it. I liked it. Okay, so do you finish? Almost. No, the the principal ideas uh, we make to 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 introduce right now. Okay. Cool. I'm going to check another team and then we're going to go to the main room. Okay. So basically you got around four minutes. Go ahead. Okay. 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 Aha. Uh -huh. How is everything going? Excuse me. <laughs> Do you finish? Uh... So, so... <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh -huh. oh. Okay, so do you how many strategies do you have? Mm, only the one on the Wednesday special discount for employees and happy hours 20% off in beers on weekends. Okay. <laughs> and every sure. day with a different menu cheaper. Teacher, in, in this case, is in beers or on beers? You can say on beers. Okay. On beers. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. So basically, uh, if I have kids, can I take my kids to this restaurant? No. Uh, it's not like familiar restaurant. It's not. No, yes. but but if a pet friendly. 
<laughs> you know, you know, I, I like that. I, li I I don't have kids, but I have a dog, so I will go to that restaurant. <laughs> okay, interesting. Okay, continue. The menu, the menu is delicious, teacher. I recommend it. <laughs> mm, okay. I like desserts. So, would you have desserts? Oh, uh, yes. Okay, okay. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> Especially the ones with chocolates. If you got them, I will go. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. But um, The other teams are preparing like not like a full presentation, but at least like a mini PowerPoint or only one image. So remember, you are competing with the others to have the best presentation. You have five minutes if you want to, you know, prepare something, okay? Okay. Okay. Have the same colors. How is everything going? You finished? Probably we uh, we broke the the restaurant. Okay. <laughs> I will go, but I don't have university ID. Can I use the ones that I I had when I was studying? <laughs> yes, you look so young. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I will. I will do it. So okay. where 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 is the restaurants located? In Old Sa San Salvador. Mm -hmm. We have probably 100. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice locales? I don't, I don't remember. Locales. Sucursales, um, sucursales. But, but I have a question. Is going to be a restaurant or like food trucks? Chori is like to a food trucks. Okay, so... How do you think will... going into food trucks? <laughs> so you will like those type of food, uh, food trucks or like a very full restaurant. A lot of food trucks. Okay, sounds good. You eat churis, teacher? Of course I do. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I love them. Actually, there is one that's, that's the only one that I used to visit is the one that is near, well, next to the coffee cup in Plaza Jardin. I think that those ones are my favorites because I can go to Chori's and then go to coffee cup. That's my favorite coffee. So it's the perfect combination. I don't know why. <laughs> one one Mocaro and one Chori. <laughs> that's true. Mm. All right, everyone, two minutes. One more, one more, one more. I'm going to check the other team in two more minutes and then we go back to the main group, okay? So, okay. hurry up. Okay. Let me see. Stylish on outside, the wire on the on mm -hmm. side, the inside. Mm -hmm. One minute. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, one minute, one minute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We can put the different models. Yes, yes, yes. I got it. Oh. Let me see. Um, okay. One more. Okay. Uh, we are going to go back to the main room. Sorry, everyone. 
<laughs> Don't worry. I mean, you have a full presentation. You are the only team who has like a very full presentation. So no worries. Oh, Tony is special for presentation. Um, always. I can see that. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go back to the main room, please. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Time's up. Time's up. Time's up. All right, I was checking. Very nice work. Okay. Okay, I'm just waiting for the rest of the team. Yes, tell me. 12 p.m. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Maybe okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, uh, uh, sorry, sorry. I forgot to check attendance at the beginning of the class. So I'm going to do it right now, okay? But guys, nice work I've been seeing. Okay, uh, sorry, I'm going to check attendance very fast and then we are going to see the presentation of the different teams, okay? Um, let's see. I know that there were a lot of listeners in this practice, but uh, I hope that uh, next day we can practice everyone, okay? Now, if you listen to your names, please say present, okay? Abigail Mejia. Present. Thank you. Andrea Amalia. Present. Thank you, Andrea. Okay, Atilio. Present. Okay. Eh, Carlos Alberto. Oh, he's listener, right? Present. Eh, yes, okay, thank you. Celia Cristina. Present. Okay, Henry Alberto. Here I am, teacher. Thank you. Jorge Antonio. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jorge Jonathan. Okay. Jose Ezequiel? No? Okay. Eh, Juan Antonio? Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose? Present teacher. Okay. Karen Rocío? Present. Thank you. Carla Sofía? Present. All right. Carol Elizabeth? Present. Good. Kenny Elizabeth? Present teacher. Thank you, Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Okay, Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Okay, um, Nelson Orlando. Present teacher. Thank you, uh, Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you, uh, let's see, let's see, who else, Salvador Ernesto. Sandra Abigail. Um, Stephanie Michel. Present. Okay, thank you. Jensi Kelita. Present. All right. Mar eh, Jose Marvin. Hello. Edwin Enrique. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, very good. Now, did I did I mention or is there is someone I didn't mention? No. Okay. Now we are going to listen to the different presentations. I have team number one. So in the team number one, I'm going to mention all the names. Okay. Uh, I could see Celia, uh, Cristina, Juan Jose. Uh, Tony, Stephanie, and I could see some listeners too, like Carol and Kenya. So team number one, are you ready? Yes. Okay, <laughs> who is going to talk? I, I want two different people talk. So one of you can mention the target audience and explain me why, and another person can explain um, the strategies. Okay, so at least two people in the group can talk. Okay, we have three three um, pages of the presentation. 
Okay. First, I'm going to to talk about the the company. Then, um, uh, um, Juan Jose and 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 Celia, and finishing the uh, our our partner. Okay. Uh, Stephanie. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, hi, good evening, people. Our company is Lenovo. Lenovo uh, is characterized to um, develop and make a good computer, especially in laptops. And then our team is Juan Jose Herrera, Stephanie Michel Oviedo, Juan Antonio Elias, Observer. Celia Cristina Choto y Carol Elizabeth Escalán. Please, Juan. Juan José. Juan José. Ok, Celia. Ok, ok, ok. Ah, ok. <laughs> <laughs> Our target is uh, employees, high executives, companies, seller teams around uh, age in 18 and 45 years because our product is all performance to uh, work in, in companies you can use in all days and all night and he, uh, its computer give you a high performance and high security and that's good for use and office. Thank okay. you. Celia, please. Uh, please read the, the, the first one and then or, and, and okay. share please with uh, our, our teammate, uh, Stephanie. Okay, if Lenovo, if you want quality, performance, capacity, and velocity, you need one Lenovo. If you need to have your information protect, you get one Lenovo. And Lenovo is your best option and stylish on the outside, well on the inside, Lenovo. Okay, this is our presentation. Thank you. All right, nice job. You know, I, I like the last one. Stylish on the outside while on the inside. <laughs> yes, nice. Like us. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Okay. Um, so group, imagine in this moment I need to buy one laptop because you know I'm a teacher and I teach online. So how much do I need? So if I want to buy one of these ones, not the most expensive, but not the cheapest one. So like in the middle, how much? Mm, maybe uh, $19.99. Mm, okay, cool. So I hope, I hope a very nice computer, okay? <laughs> yes, it's very, very nice. Um, uh, especially wild. I like that. Okay, <laughs> thank you team number one. Very good job. All right, nice. I got now the team number two. In the team number two, I had um, Atilio, Edwin, Carla, Sofia, I guess that is Carlos too. And I could see Andrea, but she was a listener, I guess. Okay, team number two. Hi, <clears throat> hi. I wait, the screen just closed. You can share. share. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Number. <laughs> um, the strategy is get more clients. Uh, our thing is Atilio Ernesto. And we, we can't see the the last name <laughs> and me. <laughs> All right. Uh, my partner Atilio reads the diapositive. The okay. The slash. The slash. Sorry. Okay. Promotion. Promotion. 
every day with a different menu chopper with a fruit for dessert. The Western Thai special is come for employee. Happy hope, happy all uh, 2020. Percent? What is it? Percentage. 20. 20%. Person of if we're every weekend. Person of in beer every weekend. And Edwin? Edwin? And the last is <laughs> post in different social, social media publicity in TV. On TV. <laughs> on TV. <laughs> on TV. <laughs> one, one, on TV. One, one point less because of grammar. <laughs> All right. Okay. Who's your target? <laughs> I did. Who's your target audience? The adults, uh, uh, men and women. Stress. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. If, if you are stressed, you should go to this restaurant. Ah, In the weekend's so, happy hours. <laughs> I like that. So you said that there, um, there is a discount for employees. So any kind of employees or you have a specific type of employees? Any kind. <laughs> Every, no, doesn't matter what kind of employees you are, you got a discount. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but what about what about students? Sometimes students are even more stressed. Doesn't mm, count. Maybe university university students? Uh-huh, students. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they are stressed too. But, okay. But maybe other day Ah, that's a good idea. So Wednesday, it's for stressed employees and another day could be for university students. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Look at it, look at it, uh, San Miguel City. Oh, okay. Rupert. <laughs> Ah, good. All right. Yeah. I'm sorry, Celia. Sorry. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, team. Okay. Any other information or that's it? That's it. Okay. Thank you. Nice job. Very good. Very good. Okay. Excellent job, uh, team. Now the last team, it's Henry, Jorge, Luis, and I have some listeners too, Nelson and Jensi, I guess. Okay, team, go ahead. Okay. We choose one of delicious food in the San Salvador. We we choose hot dogs el chori. El chori. Our target is young people and students who have a fast lifestyle. Like a call center, call center, they had a como sería poco tiempo, a few minutes for it. Yeah, and um, Tony, to, perdón, Henry, Henry explained our promotional days for these people. Te voy a despedir. Okay, for promotion days uh, one, and the first strategies, uh, he, uh, we we think in pay five and go six, pay two and get uh, one free soda, present your ID students and say uh, 50 off for promotion days. And um, we have a brand exposure we think um, build, build a huge spotlight in the street for the people know where is our fast food trucks and communicate our 
present in the area. Area. Well, and finally, uh, the other st strategy is the publication. We uh, shared our products in the social media and the newspaper, but uh, we know it's that important that clients know uh, the our production products, sorry, and our promotion uh, the old days. Our products are cheap. Cheap because we know the the economy is hard right now. And we try to help the people to get here food. And the for como sería de manera barata. A if you cheap, have cheap if, way. Yeah. The cheap way. Yeah. If you have a uh, a big launch for for very cheap cost you can buy our hot dogs el chori <laughs> <laughs> nice nice slogan i like it yeah. very good okay anything else or that's it that's it is is the yes. point <laughs> i love el chori guys very good okay thank you okay excellent job you know what actually guys everybody did an excellent job and i like the strategy that all of you shared now it's time to decide what was the best presentation pay attention here you cannot vote for yourself okay so for example a hot dog el chori you cannot vote for yourself. You have to vote for another team, okay? No se vale votar por uno mismo. So let's see who's the winner. I'm going to send a pool, everyone. There you got the different teams. We got Lenovo Computers, Catejos Restaurants, and Hog Dog El Shorty. So please decide who's the winner. What was for you the best presentation? Think about all the details, not only in the PowerPoint presentation, think about the information that they share, think about the strategies that they uh, thought about it. Are they effective or not? So think about it. Everybody votes, votes. I have some people who haven't voted yet. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh my gosh, in this moment, I have a tie. So for the ones who haven't voted, go and vote because we have a tie. Okay, 10 more seconds. And I think that it will be a tie. Hmm. Go and vote, go and vote, five, Four, three, two, one. Okay, you cannot vote anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness, very interesting results. Okay, can you see the results, everyone? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, so. Extra point for the three teams. <laughs> yeah, that's a. You know what? Si tuviésemos un speaking evaluation, les daría un extra point a los winners. Pero como es un empate, it's a tie. Sorry. Okay. Super so good bad. job. <laughs> but you know what? Super good job for all the teams. And team one and team three, you got uh, the tie. You got more points. Excellent job, everyone. Good job with the strategies. I know that this topic was easy for you because I know that this is kind of the job that you do every day, right? I have been in some groups which this topic has been very difficult. For some other students, uh, it's very difficult to think about some strategies, but you did it very, very well. Nice job. Now, everybody, let's stop thinking about strategies. 
we are going to think about something else. And this is basically what we will study today. This is very easy topic, so we are not going to spend too much time on it. And is speaking about everyday tasks. What is the meaning of tasks? What do you think? Tareas. Exactly. So the activities that you need to do, activities that you have to do, for example, at home or at work. So I need a volunteer for reading the class objective, please. Me, teacher. Yes, thank you. Class objective. Participants will be able to describe the schedule activities at their workplace. Thank you. So that is exactly what I want you to do at the end of this class. So we will continue talking about scheduled activities. So we will continue talking about simple presents. The idea is to combine it with the frequency adverbs and talking about our workplace. So when we are talking about everyday activities or task activity, tell me everyone, what's the estimated time that an employee works a day in your workplace. Can you tell me the schedule? Mm -hmm. It's eight hours. Uh huh. How how many? Eight hours usually, but in Claro, no. <laughs> no, because in in my case, we works uh, nine or ten hours in a day. Well. <laughs> When uh, we, when we work the overtime, we work uh, ten hours in a day. All right. Okay. Okay. In my case, probably twelve hours. Twelve hours. Oh my goodness! All right, that's a lot. Uh huh. So everybody in the company works the same hours. Or are some that works less or some other works more? What do you think? For law, it's seven hours for eight. Okay. In weekend, it's 40, 44 hours in a week. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. <laughs> For, for for law for late no because for of law. the law uh-huh uh -huh. that's true because of the law you have to work like specific hours right yes now let me ask you in your company everybody does everyone have a specific schedule to follow for example you have to start at 8 a.m and finish at 5 p.m and another person, you have to start at 10 a.m. and finish at, I don't know, 6 p.m., for example. Does everybody have a specific schedule to follow? Yes, in my case, uh, we we start for 6 and 30 minutes a.m. Uh, for a meeting with the vendors. And after that, we we have a breakfast and the 13th, we are looking for issues in the sales, no, in the sale route. Um, and that, that giving me a lot of hours for work. All right. So if there are issues, you have to have uh, you have to work even more hours. Yeah, uh, and after class we have <laughs> to make reports <laughs> for the the thing we 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 find in this in the street. Right? So after the class, you you continue working. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Don't my... Say because I be disorganized. Come on, disorganized. Disorganized. <laughs> yeah, disorganized. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. So when do you sleep? Um, <laughs> 11 p.m. Okay, but just sleep a few hours, right? Five, five or six hours. 
All right. Okay. Well, that is what we're going to discuss right now. I'm going to show you some work schedule and you have to answer some questions. So pay attention in the following schedule. Can you see the schedule that I'm sharing right now? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Imagine that this is a company, right? I got the name of the employees and I have the schedule. So look at the first question. How many hours does Fred, I got Fred here, work on Wednesday? What is the correct answer? On Wednesday. Mm -hmm. How many hours does he work on Wednesday? Yeah. How many? Three hours. Three, Three hours. hours. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Yes, actually, it's correct. Good job. Okay, next question. Who starts work before 10? Minha. Minha. Are you oh, sure? Vilma White. Okay. Vilma White. Min or Vilma? Vilma. Yes, before, uh, sorry. remember it says before yeah. 10, before, okay? Yeah. No. Yeah. And yes, that's the correct one because remember the other starts exactly at 10, not before. All right. Next, who finishes work after three? Teddy. Who? Mija. After. After. Mija. Minha and Fred. Minha and Fred. Uh, hmm. No. Who finish? Who finish? Remember, Vilma, who finishes Fred, after? Minha. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. That's correct. The point with these questions, everybody, is that we need to analyze and pay attention in the prepositions of time because we got after we had before so that's a difference okay Minha. who starts oh i didn't answer oh yes it does the one okay who starts work before 12. Vilma. Vilma. <laughs> Vilma. are you sure and um, yes Minha. who starts before 12 p.m Vilma and Minha. 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 Okay, so both? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. And let's see. Who stars worked at 10? Exactly Minha. at 10. Minha. Minha. <laughs> okay, so if you want to have a daughter, here you have an option. Yeah. For names. Have <laughs> the name of your daughter, Miha. Miha. <laughs> Miha. Miha. Right. Miha. <laughs> okay, the last question. Who works three hours a day? Kerry. Uh huh. Fred no. <laughs> and Katie. Fred and Katie? Katie. Yes. yes. Fred and Katie. Yes. Cool, that's the one. Would you like to work three hours a day? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, three hours a day sounds this is good. The hidden. <laughs> Our teacher works only two hours a day. Yes, only two hours. <laughs> I <laughs> wish, I wish, but no. <laughs> but not really. Two hours more in the morning. Uh, not really. But honestly, um, some of you have weekends off. I don't have weekends off, so no se quejen. For money for you. For money, yeah. You will be happy. I am, <laughs> but but I work for hobby. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, now. I got this a uh, little schedule. This is a schedule for a restaurant. Pay attention, this is on your manual also, page 23. We are going to have this manual and we are going to answer some questions. Pay attention in the questions because later you will create your own questions. 
Okay, so let's go to the manual, please. Page 23. Can you see the schedule? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, let's see vocabulary. We have a cashier. What is the meaning of that? Cajero. Correct. Is the person, the person that received who... the money? Correct. Very good. What is the meaning of cook? The people who cook the food. Exactly. <laughs> the ones who prepares the food. Manager, well, we already know what manager is. We got order taker. Hmm, what is that? Mesero. Mesero. And what is the difference with the waiter? Mm. The waiter is it's the a waiter. They como se dice entrega la comida a la mesa. Okay, they deliver the food. They deliver the food for the table. And the order taker? Uh, it's a easy work. <laughs> so they just take the order. Yeah. What do you want? <laughs> okay, could be. Look, actually they are like synonyms. Depends on the restaurant. Each restaurant decides what's the function or the task for each of them. But most of the times the order taker is the, per, uh, is the person as your classmate says, sometimes they just takes the order or they works on the phone. So when people order food for, you know, delivery, the order takers are the ones who receive the phone calls too. Okay. And the waiters, yes, yeah, sometimes they are the ones who delivers the food and also they clean the tables. Okay, that is like a little difference. Got it? Yes? Understood the difference between the order taker and the waiter? It's more administrative, the order taker is. Um, I work for a desk or I work for a, a call center like that. And mm -hmm. the waiter is more, um, more physical uh, work. And exactly. the, the difference is uh, principally is in the, the, in the tips. The order taker don't have tips and the waiter have tips at the Correct. end of the That's true. And according to the salary, sometimes the order taker, they got more salary, but the waiter had more tips, so. That's kind of a difference. As I said, this is going to depend on each restaurant, how they administrate their employees. So we got here the schedule, you know, a.m. and p.m. Analyze this one and now let's answer the questions. Look at the question number one. Who is in charge of waiting tables in the morning chief. Who is in charge of waiting tables in the morning? If we are talking about waiting tables, what do you think? What am I talking about? Mm -hmm. Walter, uh -huh. the waiters. waiters. Exactly. Waiters. So we got Walter and Matthew. Matthew. So waiting tables is basically the tables inside of the restaurants. Okay. Question number two, volunteer for reading. Managing. Uh-huh. Who is volunteer for reading Jennifer question number two? Rodriguez. Jennifer Rodriguez. Ah, look, who is in charge? But listen, who is in charge of managing the restaurant? Jennifer. Jennifer she Rodriguez. is the manager. Now, who is in charge of the kitchen, but 
in the morning. Teacher, morning shift is, is like a, a, el turno, turno exactly. de la mañana. Exactly, okay. that's correct. Okay. Kevin, Kevin Dooley. Kevin Dooley and? And Karen Dooley. Correct. And Karen Dooley. So, keep in mind the vocabulary. So we got shift. So imagine I can ask you, hey everybody, what is your shift? If you have a part-time job, you can say, ah, I have a morning shift. If you if you work only in the afternoons, you can say, ah, I have the afternoon shift. If you work at night, you can say, ah, I have the night shift. In your case that you work, <laughs> well, basically you work during the full day, you can say that all day, right? So in your case, doesn't apply. <laughs> all right. Now, who is in charge of taking orders during the morning shift? Taking orders. Jorge, Jorge, um, Jorge and Carlos, very good. And the last one, what does Matthew do? Uh -huh. With Matthew, with, with me, what we do in Matthew? Uh, waiter. He's a waiter, right? That is the function. Now, pay attention in the type of questions. Pay attention in the structure. We're going to check grammar, all right? So when we are talking about these type of questions, look at the structure. I'm saying, who is in charge, okay? And then I have the preposition of, and what happens to the verb? I am with e ING. ING. Look. Un gerundio. Yes, it's a gerund. So if you have this type of question, who is in charge? Then you have the preposition of, and then you have the verb in ING. Okay? So again, if also you can ask a different type of question. Matthew is third person. So remember, you have to use does. Does. Exactly. So according to this type of questions, I want you to create your own questions about your company. So you can follow this structure. I want you to create five questions. For example, who is in charge of opening the office? Can you answer this question? Tell me, who is in charge of opening the office? The security team. Okay, very good. So that could be a question. You can also ask, okay, who is in charge of closing? at the uh, closing the office at the end of the day. If you see, look at the verb. I'm using gerunds, okay? Opening, closing. Okay. Can you give me another example? What could be another question? Who is in charge of? Cleaning the office, cleaning the office. Very good, cleaning. The office, very good. What else? Another question, who is in charge of? Uh-huh. Who could I say, who is in charge of preparing the coffee or <laughs> making the coffee? Both, you can say both, preparing or making, okay? The coffee, <laughs> I like okay. that. Good, necessary. Totally, <laughs> yes. 
Now, imagine you can create another questions. For example, who is in charge of talking to the customer? Who is in charge of visiting different? Receiving the customers. And... Yes, exactly. So another type of question is this. What does your supervisor do? Or what does, for example, your co-worker do? Or what does the secretary do? Okay, so everybody in your notebooks, I want you to write five questions similar to these ones, but thinking about your workplace. Okay, go ahead. After that, you will ask the questions to your classmates. You have five minutes to create the five questions, okay? Follow the same structure. If you have a question or a doubt about the vocabulary, let me know. Go ahead, five questions. You have five minutes. If you need help, please let me know. Remember, only five questions, but I want to everybody write it. Create your own questions about your workplace. If you have if you need help, let me know. One more minute, only five questions, please. Let me know when you finish.
Okay, everybody, are you ready? Do you have the five questions? Yes, teacher. Yes, everyone? Yes, all of you have the five questions? Okay, nice. We are going to go back uh, to the breaking rooms again, and I want you to interview your classmates. Okay, remember, we are going to talk about our work. So if, for example, if you ask, what does your supervisor do? Think about your supervisor and answer. But remember, that is in third person. So don't forget to add the letter S, okay? In this moment, please, zero Spanish. I don't want anyone talking in Spanish. If there is a word that you don't know, please try to ask your classmate and you can help each other, okay? But not Spanish in this moment. So let's go to work, please. If there are listeners in some groups and nobody's answering, tell me so I can move you to a different team, okay? Now, let's see, I'm just, I'm creating the groups. Give me a second. Okay, perfect. So everybody, let's go to work. Hello, good evening. Hello. Okay, you first. You can present. Okay. Question, please. Thank you. What is the Here's questions, Kai. Eh, ahí vamos a responderlas todas. You. Yes. You have, you have to ask, for example, eh, Karen ask the first question that you wrote and Celia and Abigail answer. Then Celia can ask her question and everybody answers. So you can go one and one, okay? Okay. Okay, go ahead. No tengo las, las preguntas. Okay, las que usted escribió, todos íbamos a escribir cinco preguntas. So, ¿qué preguntas escribió usted? Ah, no, yo le entendí que íbamos a responder a la, la última. No, really. Tenemos que crear cinco preguntas similares a las que estaban en la presentation. So, Celia, did you create your questions? Who, who is ashamed of cleaning your office? Okay, that could be a question. But remember, ING, who is in charge? Of, who is in charge? Of cleaning? Of cleaning your office. Okay, uh huh. Karen, what would be the answer? Manten eso, no, no lo entendí bien. All right, just answer. In this case, Celia will ask the question and you answer. So the question says, who is in charge of cleaning your office? How do you say, uh, Jax? I'm sorry? How do you say Jax, como dijo? Charge. Judge, charge. Uh -huh. In Spanish? A cargo. Ah. Like, ¿quién está a cargo de? 
um, in my office. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, ¿Cómo se puede decir? Algunas veces yo o otras veces. Ok. Frequency adverbs. ¿Cómo digo a veces? Usualmente. Ajá. Sometimes. You can say sometimes or usually. So you can say, well, sometimes, sometimes I, I, I do it. And usually my... Uh, Compañera. Coworker. Coworker. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Uh, Abigail, are you there? Can you participate? Yes, teacher. Okay. The same question. Who is in charge of cleaning your office? In my, in my case, in my case, the service cleaning company. Ah. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, so next. My question. Mm -hmm. Okay, my question. Who is attend the phone calls in your company? In my office, Carla, he attends phone calls. Okay. In your case, Rosy, uh, Karen? Uh, your microphone? Your microphone. Sorry. In my company, I attend uh, Blanca. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spanish. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. <laughs> How do you say me arroz con las manos en la masa? Okay, go ahead. You can start. I, I see the the message uh, I, I shared in WhatsApp. Yeah, uh, I saw it. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that's why I appear here because I, I thought that something was happening. Okay. I, I, I don't I don't know listen to indication. I, I lose connection. Ah, okay. The indication was you have to write five questions similar to the ones that we got in the presentation. I'm going to send a screenshot in the group. So the idea is to create your own questions and ask the questions to your classmates about your workplace. So Edwin, did you write the questions? Yes, teacher. Okay, in this case, Edwin, ask the question to your classmates and they will answer. Okay, ask me. Okay. Uh, who is in chair, chair? charge? Charge of cleaning the office. Can you repeat? In charge of? Who is in charge of cleaning the office? Ah, it's a, uh, the, the, the charge of cleaning is a maintenance personnel. Okay. Uh, who is in charge of opening the office? The office is opened by the personal security. Okay. Who is in charge of planning the activities uh, in the office? Can you repeat? Who is in charge of planning the activities for you? For? For, for you. Me. Yes. For we. Uh, this is I. It's me. Uh, <laughs> it's me. The you, charge. You, you are the boss. <laughs> exactly. Ah, okay. <laughs> and it's correct. What do you do, teacher? The question, what do you do? Yes, oh, okay. yes. What do you do? What do you... It's, it's me, it's a question for me. What do you do? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. In my, in, in my work, in my daily, in my work, I, I am a supervisor. It's... 
is chief of, of sales. Okay. Chief of sales in I charge of Occidental Zone. Um, I'm I from Metapan. <laughs> ah, okay. Metapan uh -huh. is, in, is in, in, my, in the song is a church with, with my team. Ah, okay. But I live in San Salvador uh, from my work. To me, I live in San Salvador, but I work in Santa Ana. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I stay in Santa Ana from Monday to Friday. Ah, okay. It's beautiful, my Japan. Yes. <laughs> eh, ¿Cómo sería? White City. Yo soy fascista. Me, yo la apoyo al paz. <laughs> yo apoyo al paz. <laughs> okay. Don't say fascista because that could have another meaning. And that's it's, not it's so a bad. positive. It's, uh -huh. it's a bad. Yes. Okay, Mussolini. Like. I, like, I like Club Deportivo Faz. That's a, no. So you can say, I like the soccer team Faz. Ah, okay. Ah, exactly. Okay. Okay. okay, so Henry, you can try to uh, create your questions right now and ask to Edwin. Okay, Just Edwin. follow the example. Okay, Edwin, who is, yes. the, who is in the charge of the Open Your Office? Uh, uh, open in that, my office. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you. In this case, Henry, after of just add the verb in ing for example who is in charge of opening, opening? opening. okay exactly opening. Ah, okay opening closing okay i understand uh, who is the char in charge of opening your office edwin are you muted? Sorry, Microphone. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. The security officer. Who is the charge of um, make the schedule for the team? Making? Making. In this case, because we are talking about like a homework, you can say doing of doing the schedule. Doing the schedule. Mm -hmm. yes. With the auditor department. Yes. Uh, you're yes. a lawyer. Yes. Like Celia and Carla. Yes. Uh, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a lawyer. Uh, I'm joking. I was like joking. Yeah. All right. I hey was. everyone. Do you finish? Joking. Mm, no, it's the third. The third answer. Okay. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't have more time, so we need to go back to the main room. Okay. Okay. A lot okay. of talking, huh? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Only English, right? Not Spanish. Yes. A uh, few only... words because I don't know how to say, but it's normal. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's go back to the main room, please. Okay, teacher. Okay. Time's up. Time's up. Time's up. Let's go back. Okay. I'm just going to wait for the rest of your classmates. How was the practice? Easy or difficult? Very nice. It it doesn't difficult, but but into training. <laughs> All right. What do you think? What is more difficult? Create the questions or answering the questions? What is more difficult? The questions. This create is the difficult. question. Create the questions. <laughs> yes. 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 I think that explain the. the yeah. The answer. The answers. Yes. Okay. So this is difficult for each one. If you feel that creating the question is more difficult, so that is exactly what you need to practice more. Okay. So the idea of these activities is to identify what is the area that I need to practice more. 
Okay. Now, because we don't have more time, I'm just going to check attendance very fast. So again, if you listen to your name, say present. Abigail Mejia. Present. Andrea Amalia. Atilio Ernesto. Present. Carlos Alberto. Celia Cristina. Present. Henry Alberto. Here I am, teacher. Jorge Antonio. Present, teacher. Jorge Jonathan. Jose Ezequiel. Juan Antonio Elias. Present, teacher. Eh, thank you. Juan Jose Herrera. Present, teacher. Karen Rocío. Present. Carla Sofía. Present. Carol Elizabeth. Kenia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Luis Miguel. Present teacher, good night. All right. Eh, Nelson Orlando. Present teacher. Sandra Abigail. Stephanie Michel. Present teacher. Jan Siquelita. Jose Marvin. Edwin Enrique. Present teacher. <laughs> All right, good job. Okay, everyone, we don't have more time. As always, one of you has to stay. And the winner for today is Tony. So Tony stays. <laughs> the rest of you, everybody, have a good night. Okay, Work bye. on the platform. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> good night. Good night, everyone. Only Tony stays. Okay. Hello, Tony. How are you? Hello, teacher. Very, very know, fine. I have a, I have a cousin, <laughs> and his name is Tony. <laughs> Tony, like me. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But well, it's a, it's a, it's a, um, a nickname. A, a nickname. Yes. But your cousin is very, very, very. Uh, uh famous and, and <laughs> good presented and I, 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 <laughs> it's a little bit the opposite but <laughs> yeah okay so tony uh, this meeting is just to um answer some questions that you may have about the class or about the platform or about the uh, program or comments or if you need help with a specific topic and I'm here just to help you. So this is your moment. Do you have any question? Yes, I have a few questions about the, um, uh, let me see, I have an appointment. Uh, uh, I have an attendation. Uh, I have notes. This is the, the correct word. Mm -hmm. um, uh, okay. Like, yeah. One of the most common problem when I try to speak in English is um the translation from Spanish to English. I don't know how to think in English and say in English the words. Um, it maybe it's possible by my structural formal think because uh, I have a uh, uh, a good, vocabulary or, or great vocabulary and synonyms in the Spanish past. But when I try to explain this, the same idea in English, I can find the, um, or the synonyms or the uh, words, the correct word in, in Spanish. Um, a few examples is when I try to, to say, um, Seldom, I, I don't remember what is the the the, um, the correct word for seldom, and, and then I use another. But when I think in Spanish, my brain 
it's not running fast <laughs> to, to say the, the thing. And, and as well, I need to have a tips to explain and think in English and no obligate my brain to translate. translate. Yes. And that is something that happens to everyone, I think, that is learning a language because we are thinking in our mother tongue. So mm -hmm. I know Spanish. So all the time, my brain tells me that I need to think in Spanish. Then we translate and answer in English. So what can we do? This is with the practice and with the time. And the more you speak in English, the more your brain will think in English. If you try to talk in English every single day, your brain will get used to. And at the end, your brain won't need to think in Spanish and then translate. So that's why speaking, 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 that's the best way to avoid translations. Now, another tip is to always, um, when you want to explain something and you don't find a world, so you have two options, or you search for a synonym in your mind, or you change your idea. For example, in your case, imagine that you want to say, I seldom go to the beach, but I forgot the word seldom. So what do I need to do? Okay, look for a synonym or change the sentence instead of send or say um, I seldom go to the beach you know that seldom means few times so you can say I go to the beach a few times a month a year a or month. a year exactly so when, I go to the beach correct so when you are searching for synonyms your mind it's obligated to think in English because you need a synonym in English, right? So the mm -hmm. idea is when you don't find the word, think another one or try to explain it in a different like way. way. Okay. Exactly. But okay. believe me, the best way to avoid translating is practicing. The more you talk, mm -hmm. the more you will learn. So um, something that I did when I was studying is that I take some questions and I try to answer in, but recording myself. So I recorded mm -hmm. myself and then I listened to my answers and I listened and I was like, ah, I make this mistake. Also mm -hmm. another tip, and this helps me a lot, is when I talk and when I answer, I try to answer for um, one minute. And I will give you an example. Uh, I have some questions right here. For example, imagine the first question says, what are some activities that you like to do? Okay, you have to answer these questions, but you have to do it and you can set a timer, okay? Um, mm -hmm. And you have to answer and you have to talk for one minute. And you say, wow, one minute. That means that you need to talk. Wait, this is not the timer that I'm looking for. So you need to talk a lot, right? So imagine, okay, what are the activities that you like to do? And you start, oh, well, I like it. And you start talking. But what happens, como no estamos acostumbrados a hablar tanto, llegan 10 segundos, and it's He's like, uh -huh. oh. I don't know what else to say, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, but if you start thinking, no, I need to talk more and more and more. So you will get in used to, okay? And your mind is obligated to think more. So that's another advice that I can give you. And this is a practice that you can do in your free time. Take a question take the timer and say, okay, I'm going to answer for one minute. So you have to give more details, okay? Okay, okay. And now I understand why the first day when I traveled to the US, uh, in the first day, I, I uh, how, how do you say tartamudar? Uh, I, uh, I, uh, 
I tried to say something, but stutter, stutter. Star. I, I star too much when I try to say something, and when the days um, go past and go past the fourth, the fifth, the, the seventh day, uh, I um, talk more fluidly. But mm -hmm. but it's because I need to uh, to to talk and to explain and try to help to my wife to say something in in, in English, and because mm -hmm. she doesn't speak English and she say, Papito, ayúdame, ayúdame. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, and, and it is the time to, to stay more relaxed and try to, um, to, to explain to mm -hmm. the other people that what we, uh, we need or what can I do, uh, anything. The, the, yeah. the first day is very difficult for me and the, the other days uh, is more fluidly. And that happens. So as I said, imagine this is just with the practice. So you can try to do the practice in your mind. For example, imagine. Um, ¿Cómo le explicaría usted a alguien eh, cómo enviar un email, for example? Eso es algo que usted puede hacer en su mente. Okay. Open your laptop. Go to Google. Type mm -hmm. gmail.com. Then write your email account. Write your password. And you go explaining step by step. That obligates your brain to think fast. Mm -hmm. Right? And you will also learn vocabulary because imagine, hey, como digo contraseña? Ah, password, password. right? Hey, como digo redactar? Como digo enviar? So you will learn even more vocabulary and nos vamos a acostumbrar a ir explaining with more details. So that okay. is something that can help you too, okay? okay. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Tony, you are doing an excellent job. Something that I really like is that you participate a lot. So super great, keep going. And when you are in the breaking rooms, I can see that you also try to help your classmates. So great, I liked it. And keep going, please, because you are doing a great job. Thank you right? so much, teacher. You're very welcome. Okay, I don't know if you have any other question or any other comment. No, no, because the time is over and I, we... Oh, yes, I haven't <laughs> seen the time, I'm we sorry. we talking more... The it's midnight. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. know. Okay, Tony, okay. so keep going, continue working on the platform and see you tomorrow, all right? See you, teacher. Good bye, night. Bye. Good night, too. Thank you.